What's going on guys? Today, doing a little bit of trading in the middle of the day. I know it's weird, I know it's crazy, but I've learned a lesson, or I should say I learned a lesson today that I need to put in my lesson book or my rule book, my day trading handbook. I need to put a little little check in there or a little number or a little quotation or whatever you want to call it. I need to put a note in the notebook, basically saying, Patrick, you got to be careful having too tight of a stop. And we're going to talk about that in this video. A trade had too tight of a stop, ended up getting stopped out before the stock went to the moon. I'm going to talk about it here in a second. So make sure you stay tuned. Lordy, 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 lordy. Today, getting the ultimate fake out. The fake out. It happened right in front of my very eyes. Today, WKS, WKHS. Let's take this little break down here, show you guys this fake out and kind of what went down. So basically, WKHS, this, uh, what are we on, noon? I got home at noon today, had a little pop up. It got halted, popped up on the uh, scanner. It was on the halted scanner right here, uh, 1132 on the halted scanner. I got home, I was working on a computer, doing some work, and I thought, oh, I might look and see what's going on with WKH, WKHS, and I didn't really see much going on, so I didn't touch it, and then later on, I was like, hmm, kind of looking at it, like, oh, it's holding the VWAP, it's kind of got everything kind of lining up here, looking like, you know, got some support, it's looking like it might want to make a push back to high a day, high a day at that point was fifty-seven. So I was thinking, okay, no big deal. You know, I can risk a little bit here and uh, look for an opportunity for the upside. And obviously, I ended up getting stopped out. So I ended up stopping out as this pulled back below the view app. What I did was I basically put a stop limit order in there just to protect myself because I was working on some stuff on the computer. I wasn't really paying attention exactly. I only had a thousand shares, so it wasn't like a big massive loss. I think what was it, thirty dollars? Ended up, I ended up losing thirty dollars on this trade. So not a big deal, but obviously looking at it now in hindsight, you know, an hour or two later, it's like, holy crap, what happened? What went wrong? And, you know, I'm sitting here kind of trying to figure out, you know, is there something that I missed? Is there something that I could have done differently? You know, in hindsight now, obviously I think my stop loss was just too tight. My entry, my, my entry was there to $1.29. And I ended up putting a stop just, I think, right below the view app. So I just gave it a little bit more time here or gave it a little bit more wiggle room. Maybe risked, you know, $50, $60 instead of only $30 on this trade. But, you know, in hindsight, it's always easy to sit here and say coulda, shoulda, woulda. Obviously, you know, now looking at it, what should I have done differently? Uh, you know, should I have jumped back in once we kind of broke out of that downward trend here? You can see kind of that little bit of a downward trend. Right there, we broke out and then squeeze up there at $2.20. So really a beautiful move here. Bouncing off that support, you had the support on the five-minute chart. You can look at the bigger time frame. You know, on the daily chart, not much really going on there. We did break above that resistance that was on the daily chart there at the $1.25 area. That's what I was kind of looking at with this support. Like, hmm, that previous resistance turned into support now. We've, helped, we've basically been holding that support since... A little afternoon there, we've been holding, holding, holding. And I guess, you know, in, you know, obviously in hindsight here, I should have put my stop a little bit lower. So it's a good lesson once again that to make sure if I'm going to put a stop in there, you know, if I'm going to kind of figure out the game plan, I need to kind of look at the chart and see, okay, you know, we got a little bit of support here, the VWAP, but I need to give it a little bit of wiggle room here in case we do get that little quick panic drop, get some stop losses. Because exactly, this is exactly what happened. You know, we got the psychology of this trade kind of as people are buying here off the support. They're all looking at that VWAP area, that EMAs, the VWAP. They're looking at that as support. So what does everybody do? Everybody ends up putting, you know, their stop losses there. They end up getting out right there. And it's pretty clear that's kind of what happened because, you know, we get a little quick drop and then right back up to new highs. So really interesting so really interesting obviously to see this now in hindsight two hours later and be like wow i really blew it and now it's up there at two dollars and 30 cents it's going higher as we speak 235 now 236 
Uh, my average there at dollar twenty nine sure looks nice now. Huh. That's trading though. That's really what it comes down to. That's trading, and that's kind of just what happens sometimes. You're gonna have those days where you're gonna end up getting stopped out, and the stock's gonna go higher without you. You're gonna also have days where you get stopped out. You know, some days this type of action, me getting stopped out would have worked in my favor because the stock could have just went lower and lower from there. You know, at the end of the day, we're basically just going into trades with a plan, sticking to the plan. If it doesn't work out, we end up getting out and then, you know, looking for the next opportunity. And today was one of those days where the stop loss was just a little too tight. That's really what it comes down to. I think my stop loss there was just a little too tight. You know, a three cent stop loss on this stock. Was it terrible? Eh, probably not terrible, but I probably could have gave it a little bit more room. You can see kind of this previous little bounce here off a of dollar twenty-two area. We bounced here, dollar twenty-three, dollar twenty-three at that support. So I could have moved my stop a little bit lower in the view app. Not really sure why I put it right at the view app there, but you know, in theory, we would have said that dollar twenty area probably be a little bit better of a stop loss for me. Now I know in the past people have been an outrage they've freaked out because i've made videos talking about not using stop losses now one thing i want to make clear in this video obviously is i am always going into every single trade with a stop loss in my head you know i go into the trade knowing or having an idea of when i'm going to cut the trade off you know if it doesn't work out that's what i'm gonna get out so when i say don't use stop losses that doesn't mean that i that doesn't mean that i'm telling you to never stop out of a trade or never have an idea or a plan what I'm telling you is using a hard stop on a volatile stock a lot of times can end up working against you because you'll have a little bit of volatility, you end up getting stopped out, and then the stock goes higher. Now, there's also going to be setups where the stock is going to go lower, but you need to have a plan, you need to have a mental stop loss or hard stop, or whatever you want to use. I don't care what you use, use it. But you got to go into each trade with a plan, and that's basically what I did here. And you can see, you know, it kind of backfired on me having too tight of a stop. So maybe this is a so maybe that's a better title for this video, having too tight of a stop. Maybe that's the way that I should frame this. Really going into this trade, having too tight of a stop, ended up getting stopped out before the big major move. So which is interesting because we got the move from 80 cents up there to $1.60. We pulled back, we kind of consolidated, 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 and then we ramped up to the moon there, up there to $2.40. So really a beautiful move here on WKHS, but my stop was just too tight. So a good lesson there for me. Hopefully somebody else out there sees that as well. If you're going to be playing a stop at that support area, you should have a little bit of wiggle room, just a little bit of wiggle room, and it'll give you a better opportunity sometimes. There's going to be days where having a tight stop is going to work in your favor. There's going to be days where having a little bit larger of a tight stop is going to make you have a better op better chance of being able to capitalize on this type of move, which is pretty interesting to see how they've got this drop. We dropped from $1.32 down to $1.27. I got stopped out there. It dropped down to $1.23. It consolidated, and then, bam, went right back up there, up there to $2.40 now. So not bad, not bad at all. So what's the lesson here? The lesson is my tight. So what's the lesson here? My stop loss was just too tight. It's really, I think, what it comes down to here. Too tight of a stop loss. It happens. It's part of trading. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to make a video about it, and we're going to talk about it. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? Was my stop too tight? Was my stop in the right place? What do you guys think? I know you guys are all Warren Buffetts out there, and you know exactly the issue here. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Was my stop too tight with only a $0.03 cent stop on this stock? Where should my stop have been? Do you agree that the dollar probably 20 area would have been a better stop area? Do you think that my stop was okay in the first place? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Also, Hit that subscribe button. I will talk to you guys later on. <laughs>